Hey everyone, Precision Up Gaming here, bringing another Diablo 3 video. Today we're going to be talking about an amazing method for farming in a lot of variety of places in Diablo 3, specifically in Act 3 and 4, but it can also be used in Act 2. The method is called Legend. The gist of it is that you want to lure a pack of elites or a champion uh, mob into a spot that can be reached by ranged characters across a ledge. Right now we are in Tower of the Curse level 1, which is an ideal spot for this method, Legend, and uh, we just lured this mob of champions over to that little spot. They cannot attack us or hit us or can do anything and they can easily be downed by uh, a ranged character class, ideally a demon hunter with high DPS. And um, and it's an easy way to farm. The It's very easy to do, it's, the concept is very simplistic but it can be used in a whole variety of spots. So obviously there is a lot of different spots in the Tower of the Cursed or in the Tower of the Dam that can be used for this. I, here Tower of the Cursed level 1 is a great spot mainly because the waypoint is right there and you, all you have to do is just go around uh, the top section, find an elite or champion group, and then just m mob them over to that spot across the ledge. Then just damage them as fast as possible, and when you are uh, down at the last few uh, HP of the champion mob, you can then swap over to your magic find gear, kill it off, and then reap the loot and reward. Obviously, you do not need to be a demon hunter to do this. You can also do this uh, with a witch doctor or with a uh, wizard. However, the demon hunter has a lot of things that uh, enable you to do this a lot faster. Obviously, smokescreen, even after the nerf, can be used to quickly mob up the spot and uh, later on to just rush over to the uh, opposite side of the ledge where you can then get your loot. Okay, so there's a few more things that you want to take note of when you're farming through ledging, and that is certain attributes that the elites and champions can have may cause the whole process to be a little bit more difficult, and that is, for example, reflect uh, can make you one-shot yourself if there's a champion pack and you're not being too careful. Also, a mortar or a desolator can kill you, obviously, if you're too close to the ledge. So just keep your distance. Always watch out. At times, teleport mobs might also jump over to the other side of the ledge, but that is a little bit more rare. We haven't seen that as often yet. And just in general, keep an eye on what attributes you're facing. Most of the time, though, it will be fairly straightforward. Now, right now, we're doing the same process in Act 4. Act 4, it's a little bit trickier to find good ledges that you can reach, that you have enough um, distance. Here, pretty much only the Demon Hunter or, at times, the Wizard can reach over the far distance ledges. But again, this concept is just the same. And you just have to mob up a certain location, bring them to a spot which is not too close to where you are. In other words, you don't want the mob to then be able to run around and, and come to you, so you want to make sure that if they are aggro to you, they will stay on their little spot, on their ledge, and just bring them down to low HP, swap over to your magic find gear, and then kill them off. Make sure that everyone in your party has their magic find gear quickly. You want to make this as efficient as possible when you deliver the final blow. And then just head over, to, at least one player has to head over to the other spot, and then everyone can teleport to them if, um, if the road to the other side of the ledge might be mobbed or any of that sort. Another thing that you should consider or you should worry about when you're doing this method with legend, and it's always an issue when you're doing elite mobs or champion mobs, is that obviously if you're taking too long to kill them, they'll start enraging, specifically in Inferno. And that means that if you are too close and you have to be in range to be able to hit them, uh, you will then die instantly due to a strong dot damage over time. So when that happens, you need to make sure the entire party warps to town and stays in town for about two to three seconds and then comes back. You don't want to take too long in town because then they will heal up fully to full HP and you'll have to repeat the whole process. But you also uh, don't want to be too quick and get there too fast because else the enrage will not disappear. So just make sure that when you do see the enrage's little skull and, and bones over their head that you get to yourself to town fairly quickly and, um, and that you get back then within two to three seconds so they don't full HP heal. So that's all there really is to be said about the method of legend. There's a lot of different spots that haven't been discovered yet, so just be creative. Go look for specific spots that are probably in your point of progression up until now. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to like it, check out our channel, subscribe for future updates. We'll be posting a lot more content. Good luck on farming.